Hey y'all, it's Daphne back with another update. Um, so I guess first we'll start with life updates. Um, well, actually first, um, we have a lot of new subscribers, so I want to say welcome and thank you for joining us. Um, let me know in the comments below where you came from, how you heard about me. I'd be very interested. Um, I know, um, some of you probably have come over from Magical Stitches. We'll get to that in a minute because I do know I stated in the last video that I wasn't going to do Magical Stitches, but we'll talk about that. Um, and let me know how you found me down in the below. Um, so other life updates. My uh, mother is out at her doctor's appointment today. My brother took her. So she should be coming home in her walking boot. If she does come home in her walking boot, she will be moving back home. So that is where we're at. We just waiting on x-rays and for my phone call to tell me whether or not she's getting her walking boot on. Um, so that's pretty much it here. We're getting back into the swing of things with homeschooling and getting school started. That ring light being on my glasses is kind of annoying, huh guys? At least it's annoying me. Um, getting back into the swing of things and I don't know that I can do anything besides shrink. Um, I don't know. I'll have to figure that out later. We'll try that for another time. Because if I shrink, maybe if I lift it. Anyway, we're getting off track. So getting back in the swing of things with homeschooling and gymnastics and life in general. So that's what's going on here. So I did make a list this time. So hopefully I don't forget anything. We'll see how that goes. So Christmas happened, right, y'all? How'd y'all's Christmas go? Mine went amazing. Let me know what your favorite thing that you got for Christmas was down below. Because I'd be love, love, love to know. So... Um, my favorite thing my husband got me this year, um, I kind of knew I was getting it because my glue gun died and I mean, what's a crafty room without a glue gun, right? So I was expecting another normal glue gun. Um, and I got a cordless, um, man glue gun, I guess. Um, I had no idea they made these, but it's actually got like, um, a lithium battery and it turns on and off and it's portable. I even got a drill that came with it. It's all green and it's a little bag. I love this thing. I can take it wherever I go. So if you're interested and you use a lot of glue guns, this may be the thing for you. Um, the only thing I can say is, is it doesn't have a precision tip. So if you use a precision tip a lot, it may not be the thing for you. Um, I also did get the next, um, the third illustrated edition of Harry Potter, which I was super excited about. I squealed and everything. Um, super, super excited to get that. I didn't bring it out, but that's all good. Um, and all the other normal stuff. I don't think I got anything stitchy related this year that I didn't purchase from sale. Oh, I did. It did. It did. Two seconds. Okay. So we're back. So we did get something stitchy related. My kids got me this Star Wars thing. Sorry, Gary, if you're watching, I'm totally did not taking it out of the plastic because it's in its little kit thing. Um, but I got this um, original poster cross stitch for Star Wars. So I'm super excited. I don't think I'll start this until I finish the Darth Vader one I currently got going, but super excited. Okay. And I think this is pretty much my haul. I have a little bit of thrifting haul. Um, I did find some Charles Craft Hard Danger, 12 by 18, 22 count Ada for a dollar. I picked it up. Um, and I did find, and I really just can't find what I did with it. Look, I'm looking around like I'm going to find it because I couldn't find it before. Um, a package of six still wrapped up in the thing. The little, um, Christmas towels that had the little band of stitching area. Um, I paid $2 for them. So I picked those up. I don't know what I'm going to do with them because I don't use things like that, but I'm sure I can gift them. Um, so that's what I got there. And then I did pick up, this is for you, Sean. I totally finally got the Siren and the Spe Spectre by Jonathan Jans. I am super excited to get to this. I'm going to finish Seafire because um, I currently have, I think, six books going. It's crazy. Um, cause I have Seafire going. I'm still trying to make it through Red Dragon. Um, I am auto book, audio booking kingdom keepers for magical stitches. Um, 
and I will be restarting the second book in the Raven Boy cycle and hopefully getting through that. So that's four. I have four of them going. Um, and so as soon as I finish Sea Fire, this one will go into my rotation and I'm super excited about this. So thank you so much, Sean, for this recommendation. I'm super excited to get into a little bit more horror aspect of things. Um, so I did get one more thing, but that's going to be kind of more towards the end. Boy, that light is washing me out, isn't it? I am having all kinds of technical issues. Oh, look, the button's right here. Let's, let's turn that down a little bit. That's better. That's a lot better. There we go. Um, I did get one more thing in the haul, um, but we'll talk about that later towards the end. Um, so let's move on. We talked about mom. We talked about Christmas. That's towards the end. Okay. Let's talk about my FFO. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen this. Um, I did finish Beware the Smiling Dungeon Master. Now I did give her, when we did our, um, this is my, my friend, we did a gift exchange on the first and I did give it to her and asked her because I really, after doing the Harry Potter box finish, I had an amazing idea to finish this on a box. And, but I wanted to ask her how she wanted it finished. So she did decide she wanted it framed and she wants a box for next year. So I will be doing a box for next year and I already have uh, design plans for her box, but she wanted this to hang behind her because, um, while she's DMing for us, it'll hang behind her while she while we're playing. Um, something I did decide is I knew this border was going to be hard. I mean, that is a straight line border trying to get it in this frame. I've decided I will never ever do a straight line border again unless I can have it professionally framed. Um, but I did uh, put all the dice on the corners, which I think looks freaking cool. Um, she'll get this tomorrow when I take it over to her house, but there it is. First FFO of 2020. I think I finished, I finished this like on the 30th or something of December. And then I FFO'd it on like the second or third. So it is the first FFO of 2020 and I'm super proud. So there's that. Okay. That's the only FFO I have. Um, I do have a finish. I'm not sure how much I like it. Okay. So this is the ornament I made for my, um, nephew. So I don't like where Edmund is. I think it's too far over. It is centered. If you look from, from the point here all the way up, it is centered, but it's not centered with the deer, which makes it look off centered. So what I think I'm going to do is when I, um, FFO it, I'm going to balance it with doodads, dingle hoppers, those kinds of things. Right. Um, and to make it balance and hopefully I'll like it better, but he is finished. He's just waiting to be FFO'd. And I am thinking about getting one of those small hoops and FFOing him in a hoop. So if you have any ideas, suggestions, please let me know because I am at a loss. I, I'm, I don't want to rip it out because it is red over dyed floss and on this fabric, it tends to leave stuff behind and I don't want to do that. So there's that. Okay. I also picked up and we're not discussing NFL. <laughs> we're not talking about the Patriots. We're not, we're, 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 yeah. Anyways, <laughs> if you follow football, you know what I'm talking about, but, uh, I am working on this piece. I have to finish this guy here and put in the football and then I'll be able to finish this. And so I don't have very much left. I'm hoping to have this done. This was a gift Christmas gift for my dad. Um, and so I do need to hurry up and get this finished. He knows I'm still working on it and that I will be done soon. Um, it's not showing up real well, but I promise that's a three. There it is. Um, and this will be 12. So there's that. Oh, and I do, I guess I do have to finish his helmet and put his red in on his sides. So there that is. Okay. And the last big thing is, is stitching has been kind of hard to do on a daily basis here, but on Sunday I ended up being able to stitch from like noon until I went to bed. And so I caught up on a lot of group challenges. Um, and so I guess we'll, we'll hop into magical stitches. So I hadn't planned on doing magical stitches. I did not fill out the sign up sheet for magical stitches. And then all of a sudden I get a tag that says you've been assigned a park. And I said, wait a second, I didn't sign up for this. So I get in there and I'm part of the wilderness lodge, which 
Dang it. If you'd have put me in any other kingdom, I probably would have went, hey, I didn't sign up for this. But you put me in the Wilderness Lodge. And Lorna, who was part of the um, Hogwarts house prefects, um, is, I don't know what they're calling, I, guess, I think it's cast members, I don't know what they're calling them, but is, is one of the heads of the Wilderness Lodge. And um, Coffee Stitcher is the other one. And so I was like, hey, okay, I'm already doing another group. I'll do what I can, little bits. I mean, some participation is better than no participation. Okay, I'll do it. I'm also part of Cheryl's group, uh, The Daily 30, um, the journal, stitch, cross-stitch journal on The Daily 30. Now, it is a closed group. She does not accept new members. Um, if she ever does, I will totally let you know. But she does not accept new members. Don't ask her. Don't, don't, don't email her or anything like that. Um, but so I was already doing challenges and I thought if I could make them work, I'd make them work. But my big rule is no new starts. I got myself into quite a jam with, um, magical stitches last year cause I would do new starts and I ended up with too many projects and it made me frustrated. So anyways, long story long, I went ahead and started doing the challenges. Um, I'm still not quite understanding the whole opening of the park situation. Um, do you have to start at the beginning because like we're past, our group is past the, the ticket thing. They're already, already at like Cinderella's castle. Do I have to start all the way back at the ticket or can I jump in at Cinderella's castle? Cause I have no idea. And I'm just like, hmm, I'm not going to jump in because I don't want my case stitches to be wasted. So if you know, please let me know because I have no idea. Um, so I've just been working on, um, the weekly homework and the extra credits, but anyways, so in Cheryl's group, we have a scavenger hunt. There's a notification. I'm so sorry. Um, in Cheryl's group, it's a scavenger hunt. We have to take pictures with our whips with certain things. Um, so here's my simply meant to be, and we're going to pause because I'm trying to try editing and I'm going to try and insert a picture here of what simply meant to be used to look like. Okay. So hopefully I was bomb and you just saw what it looked like. Hopefully. Um, this is what it looks like now. Um, I did put 800 stitches in this all on Sunday afternoon. Um, I used it for a fork. I took a picture with a fork. I took a picture with a candle and an onion. And then for magical stitches, I did it for elements because there's clouds. Clouds is one of the elements we were allowed to do. And then I did it for moon because over here, which you cannot see, I will try to post a picture here of what something meant to be will look like. Hopefully I made it. Yes. Um, there's a big moon that has oogie boogie in it. Um, and then I also did it for week one homework, which was for, uh, you had to use one of the char main character's personalities, which I chose Finn because he's the leader of the group. Which, let me tell you, it's getting a little redundant in the book that he is the leader. Let me tell you, there is no, like, there's no missing that he's the leader of the group. I think they've said it 50 million times, and I'm only on, like, chapter 10. Um, so, um, so one of the things was, one of his personality traits was leader. Well, Jack is the king of Halloween Town, which equates he is the leader. So that's what I did there. Now, also, so I've been procrastinating making a grime guard because I mean, the fabric on this thing is no joke, right? I mean, it is bunched up. If you ever wanted to know what the backside of the hay looks like, there we go. Um, bunched up. So see these bands, these are the hair bands that never like they're supposed to go around your head. And unless you have like a head shape for it, I guess, or you bobby pin it into place, these things slip off my head. Do they slip off y'all's head? Let me know. Maybe I have a weird head. But I get them constantly because I, you know, maybe this one will work like it's totally going to work. Like, no, it's not going to work, even though it's cute and I so want it to work. They never work. But they do really good at holding my fabric down. Um, and I can still get to my stitches. It's really easy to move around. This one's over here just chilling out. And it's a thicker one. Um, and it holds my fabric up and out of the way, which is really good right now because we have snow, which means mud being dragged through my house. So this dragging on the ground means there's going to be mud on it, which isn't a good situation. Um, but I was happy to come in here and get this all cleaned up and looking pristine again. Um, I definitely cannot do the cross country thing anymore. 
Um, I like my boxes. I like the neatness of my boxes. So I will stick with that. Um, now I'm behind. Um, Kelly Bell has already gotten a page finish and so has um, Sean at Eclectic Cove. He's already gotten page finished too. So I need to hurry up. Now this is at Cheryl's group. You could only have three whips to do the scavenger hunt on. This is one of them. Newt is my other and Clouds Factory uh, Giant Harry Potter is the other. So those three will be getting a lot of progress. You'll be seeing them a lot, I am sure. Um, I did a teeny tiny amount on Harry Potter. I didn't even complete one of the challenges. So that's why I didn't bring it. Um, it's flashing at me. Why is it flashing at me? I don't know. I think it's telling me I need to hurry up and quit talking. So um, I have a lot more to talk about. I have a giveaway. So let me go clear some space. I think this is going to be the new norm for me. Like don't have space on my phone. So hang on one second. Okay. Sorry about that. We're back. We've got a little bit more time. Hopefully I'll get my phone cleared up um, before the next time so we don't have that problem. But I have another 17 minutes to talk. So we should be good. I shouldn't be holding you guys here that much longer. Um, but anyways, I am working on the these three projects. And so I'm kind of trying to make it to where if those three, three projects don't fit into Magical Stitches, I'm not doing it. Um, once Newt is finished, um, I will replace it with little projects and try and get my little project list down and try and complete projects that way. So those are obviously my plans. Um, magical Stitches this uh, time around uh, is Human Characteristics, which I'll have to do penalty because I don't, none, none of those three projects has anything with Human Characteristics. A project that stretches me is definitely my Hade. It's a max color, lots of confetti. Um, I don't have the fire station neither three of my projects is a fire station so i'll do penalty and dmc 310 none of my projects have 200 stitches of 310 so i'm gonna have to do penalty on that one as well so all four of those i will be doing penalty stitches on which won't be a problem because i'll just double dip them with um scavenger hunt stuff over in daily 30. so that's what i will be doing there okay so moving on to the last thing i bought in haul um i was watching a gal and I can't remember what floss tube it was at this point because floss tube has been my friend here lately. Not that I've been stitching while watching floss tube. Just so you know, y'all, I watch y'all while I'm getting ready in the morning, sitting and putting, getting my hair done and stuff like that. And it, it's quite helpful doing dishes. Yep. A lot of times you guys keep me busy doing dishes. Okay. I should have opened this beforehand. Thankfully, I'm sitting at my crafting desk. Okay, there we go. I didn't realize the person, the people I bought it from had taped the top zipper bag shut. That's why I, you should check these things, right? Okay, so I was watching her and she did, I really wish I remember, I can see her face and everything. I could tell you all about her, but I'm drawing a blank on her name. Um, she has... She did ornaments for her group of girlfriends that go out and do things. And um, instead of stitching the date on them, I'm going to try and hold this the best I can with you being able to see them. She got these little, hang on. $2,019 charms um, to put on them, which I thought was a fabulous idea. Um, I wanted to do that. I hadn't put any of the dates on any of my kids except for Williams, which had the uh, Yuletide Shanty. And that's the only one I dated. And I thought this was a perfect idea to do that. Also, I get a year bear every year to go under my tree for Christmas. It's a tradition that my mom started. And this year, Walmart didn't carry them, or at least the Walmart next to me. So I had to order one. And I found these bears, which I wish I had known about these bears before because it's half or less the size of the ones that Walmart sold. Um, they are the Barrington collection and he's just so cute and his legs move. I mean, he's just ridiculously cute, but I didn't want to like iron the date on or stitch it or, you know, puffy paint glue. So I'm going to take this um, charm and stitch it into his ear as well. Okay. So that's why I bought them, but I had to buy them in a hundred pack. 
Um, obviously, I don't need a hundred of them. And it's no longer 2019 because it'd be really cool to put it, not that I'd finish a hundred items in a year, but it'd be really cool to like even attach them to the back of your frame pieces and stuff. Um, so I'd like to gift them to people, to viewers. So if you would like them and you are over the age of 18 so I can legally get your address, um, don't put your address in the comments. We don't want something like that happen. But let me know that you want these in the comments below. I will send them out uh, five in an envelope until I have no more. So um, I will do my best to do a first come first serve thing. Um, but I will do them five to an envelope and ship them out to you um, until I have no more. It should only cost me a stamp, so it, it's not a big deal. Um, but I will probably, um, if you want to contact me via Instagram, that's probably your best spot option. Um, message me on Instagram and I can get your address and send them out to you. Um, but if you are interested in the 2019 little charm for whatever purpose you want, um, ornaments, finishes, whatever. Um, let me know and I will send these out because what am I, you know, what am I going to do with a hundred of them? Uh, but it was cheaper to buy a hundred of them. Um, and I think a hundred was the smallest pack you could get anyways. So I'm doing that. Also, I wanted to do this giveaway before Christmas, but I was unable. So we're going to do it now and that will give you the whole year to do it. So I am giving away this patchwork Santa. Isn't he pretty? He's like wearing a quilt. So there he is. He's absolutely beautiful. Um, the pattern has no markings on it at all that I'm aware of. I've looked. Let me look again. Yeah, no markings on it at all. Um, so if you want like to be entered into through this drawing, draw, drawing, if I can talk correctly. Um, let me think. I didn't mean... Um, tell me what your favorite Christmas tradition is. I know I'm a little late on the Christmas bandwagon, but I would love to know what your favorite Christmas tradition is. And I will draw a winner for this um, on the next floss tube, which should be in two weeks. So uh, there's there's that. Yep. Brain fart. Did you notice that brain fart I totally covered up or tried to cover up? Not successfully, I might add. So anyways, if you'd like this, let me know what your favorite Christmas tradition is. And we'll go from there. Okay, I think I covered everything. Let's see. I did. Now, I totally wanted to do the Christmas tag that uh, Married with Stitches did, but I forgot to write it down. So maybe I'll do it next time. If, you, if you're interested at all in that Christmas tag that Married and Stitches did, let me know and I'll do it next time. Um, if not, we'll call it good. How does that sound? All right, y'all. Um... I'll see you later. Happy stitching. Bye.